This is John. Good morning, John. Uh, yeah, good morning. Uh, right. Say, I was watching 60 Minutes this last weekend, and I saw a segment that convinced me that corruption is worse than what I thought it was. Uh, it, it basically uh, demonstrated how members of Congress can engage in insider trading without any reprisal. And I would like to know if the congressman would support legislation to stop that. Well, my understanding uh, is that the, a member of Congress uh, is under all laws. So if, if it's against the law to do inside the trader, the congressman can't do it. Now, I've heard the other side of the argument. I don't have the final answer on it. But the real answer for this is if you only had ethical people in Washington, you wouldn't have to deal with this problem because people wouldn't do it, and they wouldn't be listening to lobbyists, and they wouldn't be trading. But uh, additional laws, there was, I did see one bill, and I briefly looked at it on a law that would be bad. Actually, it would be a rule for the House members. And uh, it was almost like I'd have to get permission to transfer savings and put it in checking. Not quite that bad, but it was like you had to get a report to do every single thing. And I think they're missing the boat. If they think that they have unethical people in a system that is rotten to the core and the government does too much and there's too much conflict of interest to, f- to write another rule isn't going to do it. But if a member of Congress has participated, had inside, truly inside information, and benefited by it, that should be exposed. The, the voters well, ought to retaliate, he and, he ought to, be, and he ought to be convicted of a crime if it's against the law. Well, John's uh, talking about that 60 Minutes thing. I've seen the excerpt, so that was just a very powerful presentation. Uh, 60 Minutes confronted Nancy Pelosi, for right. instance, and, uh, and for inside trading. And uh, I think Denny Hastert, former... Uh, uh, a Republican. lot of them on both sides of the aisle, and I think, it's, uh, and I, I think they well, should what, be punished. Well, what tools do you have at your disposal to do that? Well, you go to Nancy Pelosi and Boehner... <laughs> and say, look, punish these people who are What if breaking. they're participating? <laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing. No, no, so, no, 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 no. If you watch the segment, they're exempt from any punishment for that. There was one congressman that tried to get a bill to stop it, and only six well, people would help sponsor it. Uh, okay, we're, I, we're, I think, we're not going to have angels in Congress. We all know that. Yeah, so we need okay. legislation to stop this kind of corruption. Okay, I, I, I will admit that I don't have the final answer on this, but I'm not ready to accept what they said on TV. Because if it's, if it's against the crime to uh, commit theft and, and fraud and shooting people, the congressmen aren't exempt from it. So if there's an SEC law and rule that says you can't do such a thing, there's nothing written that says, oh, yes, this law is written to punish you, a private citizen, but the congressmen are exempt. It, I, I'm quite confident that doesn't exist. Because of the corruption in the system, maybe they get around it, just like rich people get around the judicial system all the time. Rich people, you know, never go to jail for long periods of times or rich people don't ever get electrocuted it's poor people that do so it's the system that is bad but i quite frankly would have to be convinced that there's a law that says that you punish average citizens but the congressmen are are exempt uh, from committing fraud or are breaking these laws 